Jerry Sprague has come a long way. When Sprague first taught himself to play the guitar at 13, he did not expect that dedication to last a lifetime. But now, seemingly a lifetime later, Sprague has joined his three grandchildren, Isaac, Gabe, and Samuel, in a band that encompasses everything needed in order to gain success. On Saturday, February 8th, the Spragues took another step towards their dreams while playing at the scene Metro Space. The group stood out with their chemistry as Isaac was on the guitar, Gabe playing the bass, Samuel on the drums, and, of course, Jerry as the lead singer. This didn't happen by accident, though. Jerry Sprague said it's been difficult to put together a band that has the commitment to succeed. It's really hard to find good, good musicians and people who are available, you know? But college students are partially available. And uh, most, of, most people that are going into their 20s, you know, they either have a job or they have a family or a wife or a girlfriend. So I, I had tried to find other musicians, um, you know, but I couldn't find anybody. And... You know, they are, these guys, you know, Gabe is pretty available, Isaac is pretty available. Um, Sam's kind of hard because he's still in high school. The Spragues were started two years ago when Jerry finally approached his grandchildren. Jerry had first opened up their musical horizons when they were younger. I've spent so much time with them over the years. Um, I, I was very, actually, there were times in their life that I was a, a more, uh, very parental opposed to being a grandparent, because I spent a lot of time with them. So, um, but now, it, it's, we're just more guys going towards this, working towards the same goal. You know what I mean? We're, we're trying to create good music, and we're going back in the recording studio to record more music. It has been quite the experience for both Gabe and Isaac Sprague as well. They certainly feel the success that Jerry has had ever since they started the band together. I've been playing music, like, around the area, and in a lot of other places for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we kind of get to steal his fans a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's, it's cool because, you know what I mean, like, uh, that was the first show that we played as a band together is, is the arc. And that's, like, a big deal. Like, most fans have to work up to that. And we, met, we like, filled it up, like, halfway. So that's, like, pretty good. That's, like, over 200 people. Jerry also offers a helping hand that both grandchildren can go to if they have any problems. I, I've got problems on my plate right now that I know that, that I, I can talk to him about and he would, you know, have like an answer for me, and, uh, you know, and, and not some kind of like, you know, sugar-coated, like, oh, it's all going to work out. You know, Jerry's the kind of guy that looks like, like, like um, I'll be like, Jerry, like, I just broke up with this chick and, like, I feel really shitty about it, and then just be like, well, yeah, that's how you're going to feel for the next, you know, couple days, weeks, months. Jerry Sprague continues to perform in the bars around East Lansing, as well as Kalamazoo and other places around the Midwest. Their new album, Summer State of Mind, has recently been released and features a polished brand of power pop. It sure has been a long journey for Jerry since first picking up a bass in 1965, but one thing is for certain, music has continued to drive the Sprague family for many generations and it won't be slowing down anytime soon.